All right, welcome to this uh, how to do a twine endurance after they have broken the push traps and the stun traps. Um, as you guys know, uh, Kirby's build for twine endurances uh, used a lot of stun traps and it no longer works because of their new update. So uh, this build has been, his build has been tampered with uh, and I have switched out a lot of the traps and I'm going to show you guys how I have mine built and then uh, of course I will have follow up videos um, showing how these uh, actually handle an endurance and these handle really well. I can run all the way to 30 by myself with almost with little to no issues with these builds. And I'm going to show you guys the layout. So we're going to start off with the storm shield here on the. Uh, actually, we'll start with the north side since this side's kind of weird. Usually, uh, this side I just went with the normal, uh, normal kill build. It's, it's it's pretty basic actually. So start here. Most of them spawn down here on the lava. And uh, got tire dumps above. Tire dumps always work three tiles down, for those who don't know that. I only have one uh, dance trap here. I used to have more down here, but you don't want very much stun. Since tire dumps count as stun traps, which is really stupid. Uh, tire dumps will count as stun traps. And the more they get knocked, the more they will be immune to all your stun traps. So the more kill traps I have up here, the better it will be. And uh, as long as this one gets attacked on the first wave on this side, I have never had any issues. But it is very rare when the storm shield gets attacked uh, later on during the endurance. But if that happens and you get it on the north side, just be prepared to fight if you use my build. Uh, the husk will spawn. I'm gonna show you guys how how uh, far I have this built out this way. So on this on this side, I already pu I brought this wall out too. This goes three over, and then two more over. And right here, I had a, I had another puncher there, but I decided to get rid of it because it, it just too much. I thought I thought it was too much, so I put one here. So if there's like a husk that spawns out here or a smasher, uh, he'll walk right here, and then he'll get kind of staggered back, and it kind of makes it easier on this puncher if there's two of them working instead of just one. Uh, this one I probably wouldn't just switch it to that because I'll have a lot of husk that will. Uh, they like to break that, so I'm gonna leave it that way. Except I don't bring the wall out this way because these barricades are there for this trap tunnel, and I'm gonna show you this one probably last actually. Um, so this barricade actually prevents the any flingers and stuff from going this way. Believe it or not, they do not want to track up over this, so this stops them from uh, walking over that. Then same. I, this is should be should be symmetrical on both sides. Everything on this build is symmetrical. Uh, broadsides here. Got the classic uh, tar pit, single broadside, single dynamo, or technically zapple max, and then gas trap above. I like to have my gas traps above uh, stun traps, so I get the most out of the gas trap. And then here's how the build looks. It's kind of like an arrow. I got two more extra barricades back here. This comes out right where the right where the uh, the ramp starts. This comes out, and I have I, they, you don't even need these actually because the flingers don't even fling from there. Uh, so those are just added bonus. I decided to do it since I'm still under build. Um, and that, that's it for this trap tunnel. So we're gonna go ahead and move on to the next one. So the next trap tunnel is going to be the storm shield on the east side. And I'm sure a lot of you guys have seen this build. This is a pretty simple build. Pretty basic, it uses very few very few build pieces. But I'm going to start off on this side actually. So on this side I have wall barricade. Uh, on the back side there are wall darts because wall darts, for those who don't know, they shoot through ramps, so whenever a husk comes up here, he's gonna get shot by the wall dart, and then when he goes to attack this wall, these have these are double impact, double reload, double durability. Pretty much, I think every puncher I use in this one is uh, double impact, double reload, double durability. As along uh, along with the floor launchers, they're exactly the same. So here's the floor launcher that these are, and then here is this one. This is the wall puncher I will be using for most of them and I will let you guys know if I'm using a different kind of build and I will show you the build that I use for the other different traps. But for these, these are the double impact, double reload, double durability. 
and they actually push them all the way off the edge and they despawn once they land down there. Coming over here, we have, I only brought, I used, this used to come out three, but my spawn actually breaks this tile, so I just got rid of it, because it, if it broke anyway, there was no point in having it. But I, over here, they spawn all the way out to here, and then they, uh, they come back here, and most of them spawn out here. But uh, the whole point of this build is for them all to track up the ramp. <clears throat> and then, well, they, they walk through here, they get pushed out here. And these are actually uh, four impact, single reload, single durability punchers. That's what those are. Uh, that's double impact, double reload, double dura. And then this one's uh, the four impact as well. And uh, actually, wait a minute. Just realized, I think these are five impacts. You only need four impacts. I'm not sure why those are 62. I think those are five impacts. That's, uh, I might need to change that. Um, two, two wall darts come up here. You don't want you don't want very many stun traps in the front. This one's kind of different because they only attack this side ever once. And if they do in the future, this handles itself pretty easily. Like in the later waves, like I think on round 21, whenever the random waves in the later half of the endurance, if they attack the storm shield, uh, this side usually can handle pretty well. But it's the north side you got to worry about. Uh, these broadsides should be just normal build. I haven't replaced them uh, with 144s. I just haven't got around to it. These are crit rating, crit damage, damage, reload, durability. Wall darts should be crit rating, crit damage, damage, reload, durability. Uh, same same thing with the dynamos. Those should be the same build. Same thing with uh, <coughs> retractable four spikes. And then uh, tar pits are always just max durability. So these two punchers kick them into the kill box. Two gas traps, because there's really no need for the electric field as I saw, because the gas traps are... They actually do pretty decent damage. Believe it or not, they do. And then they come up here, they get stunned right here. Tire dump usually picks them out, and then whenever they walk up here, that wall dart from behind hits them. And then if anything makes it this far, this wall dart has two impacts on it. Always make sure it has at least two impacts, because then it staggers them off the side of the ramp, and then they fall down. And uh, there's actually punchers. There should be a puncher at the top of that ramp. Uh, but I got rid of it because they never even made it that far. Uh, and plus, they would get pushed down onto this trap tunnel, which was just not really, you know, convenient. But uh, then they have to track back up this way. And because of that, because those barricades are there, they don't want to track it back up that ramp. So they will always come right here. And they will come back up through here. And I just did a simple... Uh, Double broadside, tar pit, gas trap, and then up here is just more kill traps, and then I just added these two extra little wall darts there, and then an extra ceiling field there. That's just to keep them from going over here and flinging. And then on the back side of this, I put a barricade, because sometimes the spawn would break out one of those walls on a war games. I don't really want to run war games in here anymore, but... Uh, if you ever want to, this prevents that, uh, this prevents flingers from coming out here and flinging from here. And then as you go up the ramp further, double durability, double reload, or should be, I think those are actually impacts again, but they should be double impact, double reload, double dura, and then more gas traps. Uh, the build for the, uh, ceiling drop trap should be crit rating, crit damage, damage, reload, durability. And then I put this here just in case any smashers get up here, so then they're usually, they get staggered off the side. Of course, once they get up to here, they're going to be immune to all your stun traps, just for the amount I have up through here. Especially since this would count as, uh, 1, 2, 3, 4, 5, 6, 7, 8. Yeah, that would be 8. I'm pretty sure they can only get hit 8 times before they're immune, so once a smasher gets up to here and he gets pushed off once, then that's going to be it. He has to be dead before he can get back. If he gets up here, you're going to have to make sure you shoot him. And then over here, on the back side of this one, my lobber shield. This is the kill box. My lobber shield comes up right at the back of the kill box it goes up to. And then uh, the third one is a ramp. And that's just so the, uh, the lava bomb actually doesn't come from this side, but it'll come from this side. And then on the back, I put some extra barricades so they don't want to break out. And then I have all of this here. So this barricade up this huge ramp right here actually acts as a barricade for this trap tunnel and this trap tunnel. They don't want to track this way because this is here and that's there. And then they don't want to break out of here to go this way because they have 
two layers to get through and then two more layers to get through. And then your base will go here. Alright. Next amplifier we're going to go to will be the ramp amplifier. So this is the ramp amplifier. For those wondering uh, what this is around the amplifier, this is a mini boss dance trap. This is the simplest. This is about as simple of a design as you can get. So the mini boss, I usually get about two mini bosses on this amplifier. He'll walk out of this trap tunnel. He'll come right through here, and he'll come right here and just start dancing away. And you will see that when I uh, when I get my test video up and running, and I'll let you guys see that. And uh, I will have timestamps on all the different waves, so you can see when uh, when the mini bosses come. So if you want to see wherever those mini bosses are, I will show you all the different dance traps and how they work. Um, but this one, just corner walls, that's all it is. So I'm going to start on this trap tunnel. I'm going to show you the amount of barricades you need. I'm going to show you the amount of... Uh, uh, the, the amount of metal you need to build all this. And it should be around 100k metal. And uh, I used some brick here just because I wanted to. It just kind of looks better to have different materials I just kind of like it but you don't need you, you can everything should be out of metal and an endurance so right here I have these two barricades this is actually for this trap tunnel because uh, flingers cowboys pitchers and lombers like to come over here and just start getting on this so on the back side I have uh, ball spikes to heal the walls I have another ramp here and then I have the double impact double rebuild, double durability uh, wall punchers up this side I have these angled this way um, I, I just think it kind of looks better I don't really think it's necessary but that's how uh, that's how I was taught to do them a, a little while ago so I've just always kept it that way it just kind of looks cool as well so. um, under here these are just gas traps so whenever they come up here and start beating on it they're getting killed and not very many go up there but you'll you'll occasionally have a smash right here that'll just start beating on the wall and it's you have to kind of have to take care of that sometimes but starting with this trap tunnel, make sure you have a wall there so flingers and lobbers don't go up there into that trap tunnel. Starting down, starting down here. This is just this is optional. You don't need this. I just do this so whenever they whenever they fall off or get pushed off this way, some of them like to track this way, and then this puncher will push them into this dynamo, and then they get hit by that. And sometimes most some actually do get killed by it. It's kind of nice to have. Um, these punchers here just kind of keep them off these walls, and sometimes smashers like to come here and just beat on this. It's it's not really not really um not really common for that to happen, but it can happen. Um, this is just a simple ramp barricade going up here, and then I stop it here, and then I have a pyramid system. These are all angled different directions, and then I have two walls going right here. And then I have another wall right behind all of those so right behind all of the pyramids is another layer of walls and then I have an extra wall right here for that side and then here is just a bunch of the cone barricades I'm sure a lot of you have seen this and then on this side make sure you have at least I think it's three tiles starting at the make sure you have a tile that's facing that way facing toward the northwest and then you have another one and then you have then all of the ones on this side should be facing toward the northeast and then all the ones on this side should be facing toward the southeast and this is because they directly want to track up this way so if these barricades are there these barricades are there and these barricades are there they don't want to track up here and I just put extra barricades at the top of this ramp because I don't think it's required, but I don't think any of on any of these walls are required. I would have these though. I would not. I would not uh, not have these. You know what I'm, you know, if you know what I'm saying? Because uh, the, it might it might change your tracking. You know, it's a very delicate, very delicate build, but it works. It works really well if, if it works correctly. So starting at the track right here, one tile away from the ramp, I put a sound wall with uh, triple durability. Or, yeah, triple durability, double reload with heals. And that's because sometimes a smasher will charge this wall. I like to have a little bit of extra heal on it. And your base is going to be right there. So that's going to uh, that's gonna really help it out. And that, that usually covers the whole trap tunnel. 
but you want this you want this tile to be half a tile so they always get hit by the dance trap because some of them would like to cut in right here and then they would like to sk sometimes skip the dance trap but if this is right here they always track on this tile since this little gap is here a husk will not want to track that way so if this is here he will always want to track this way then I'll have to go across the entire diagonal tile which is actually even longer than if you just walk straight up it if they're walking diagonally they're going to get an extra hit in from this wooden floor spike and then of course this pusher by the time they get up to here uh, it's this is going to push them off the edge and then above this I have a wall dart uh, ceiling electric field, wall dart, ceiling electric field, and then another puncture at the top of this half ramp. So this half ramp will always keep them on this side and push smashers out of the once they get over here. Smashers usually fall off right there where I just got lagged off actually. Uh, it's a pretty good example of what happens. And then any fatties in the husky husk that get up here, I call them fatty husk, but you know, they're called husky husk. Uh, this is double impact, double reload, double durability. So are these punchers. Those punchers are the exact same thing. Uh, they get pushed off. So if you'll notice here, the only stun traps that I have is a sound wall, two punchers, floor launcher, more floor, more uh, wall launchers, and then a tar pit. This tar pit just catches a smasher if this puncher doesn't get him, because sometimes they'll get they get lucky, and when while these are reloading, they uh, they walk through them and they don't get pushed off. So the mini boss will always track up this this trap tunnel. You never have to worry about the mini boss. Just whenever he spawns in, just make sure that you are at least like over there so you don't mess him up. Because if you touch him once while he's dancing or before he dances, he usually doesn't want to dance. And then I just put more kill traps through here. This used to be stun traps, but they the stun traps weren't doing anything. So I just anything that makes it this far, they're already immune to all your stun traps. So having a stun trap here wouldn't make any sense. So I just put two kill traps and then more gas traps, and this works really well. Make sure you have this right here. Should be, yep, two tiles away from the ramp itself. At the ramp itself, make sure you have a wall blocking it there, as long a, and as well as a floor above it. This is a two by two. And then these two ramps are edited halfway, so because if this was like this, it messes with their tracking. Believe it or not. So always keep it that way. And this is amplifier. This is the ramp amplifier. For me, it's amplifier A. And then, uh, actually, hold on. I need to show you a very important part here. Uh, this right here, this is the trap tunnel itself. I always come one tile back. This is where my base goes. I marked it with metal. And then right here, this is all just the lava protection. And then I go from the... the Right above it is where you have one, two, three, four, five tiles going back and then one forward and then your lobber shield just going to go up to directly from this. I'm going to get a little overview of the barricades so you can see how they are laid out. And this is from the center ramp. Alright, next amplifier we will be looking at will be the beach amplifier. Ah yes, the beach amplifier. This thing is a nightmare for some people, but for me, eh, it, it was, it actually was probably, it's probably one of the best working trap tunnels I have on this, uh, besides the lava pit obviously, that that's probably the best trap tunnel that, that works the best on here. And as well as the, the pit and the bridge, but this one works extremely well and I haven't had any issues with it. I'll, I've only I only have an I I only have the occasional smasher where he's he's immune to everything. He'll walk through here. You just have to if you just kill him before he gets out here, especially if you have a mini boss dancing here, uh, you shouldn't have any issues. But this mini boss dance trap, um, the build goes on this side. Make sure this is boxed in on all sides because this is what they this is what they go for. This little computer right here, this is the what the husk are targeting. So if you have this boxed in, the mini boss is going to want to go. He's going to want to break everything on that side, but since you have more builds on this side, you're going to have a double box system, two boxes with ceilings, a, a pyramid on this side with the southwest side raised up, and then two extra walls because when he walks in, 
he's going to be attracted to this side because of the amount of build you have over here and then he's going to go right here and start dancing and you're going to see this in my example video but then starting right here i have a four tile there just so i can have uh extra structural integrity on this side but you want these two walls there because sometimes you'll have it to where a smasher he'll stand right here and he will charge at this and he'll run himself off the edge and he won't even be you won't even have to your punches won't even get used because uh, he'll just keep charging off the edge and it's really nice when that happens actually so starting here I just go two tiles I covered all these with uh, four tiles I come out here uh, at the the very right above the trap tile. right here is where your base would go this goes three tiles away from the from the little cliff right here and then the lava shield goes up four on this side the reason it goes up four it may sound like it may sound like a lot but I promise you that if you go up four the flingers that are on this bridge they will not fling from there but if you have only three they do fling from the bridge but if this is up four the flingers usually just stand right there whenever they spawn out there they usually just stand right there there and sometimes like wherever else they may spawn they just they just don't do anything because they don't have anywhere to fling from so they just stand still um, this space right here, here's the on the east side. This is where they all spawn, most of them. There's a few that spawn over there, but uh, you want all of this barricaded in. There is nothing behind these walls. This is all just a barricade. There's floors. So there's three layers right here. Then there's another layer. There's a ramp behind that wall, and then behind this ramp is just another layer of walls. Uh, and then right here I have an extra ramp just, just to be safe. On this side, I have a... It's just three. I can get away with three. I used to have four and then two extra walls, but this is all you really need. Honestly, I could probably get away with breaking this wall too, but I just like to have three just for the extra... You know, don't... I'm not supposed to track that way for the husk, so they'd know not to track that way, because all of them are going to fall on this bridge. So this bridge starts right here on these two tiles. Make sure the bridge... Uh, these two are ramps, because one has to be half ramp. So they don't just all fall right here and then break out the ramp because that's what they do if this isn't half, as far as I'm concerned. Uh, then they all just land right here. And then they all fall on this side. Every single husk is funneled on this side. So I have coming up the ramp. It goes two tiles, a roof piece, another roof piece that's edited with the three. The west, south, and then southwest one is raised just like this. I have four floor tiles going here, and then I have this little barricade here. So if any husk wants to go here, he gets pushed off, and this actually does push him off that way. This kills anything, and then they're all getting, they're all taking some minor damage when they get to here. I got a tiny little kill box right here. It's not really a kill box; it's more of like a kill platform. But once they get here, they get, they get uh, spiked. They get zapped and then they get pushed off and this works really well and most of them actually do die from these two traps um, starting here I don't have a uh, I used to have a uh, ceiling trap right here but I got rid of it because it seemed kind of unnecessary but starting on this side it's just puncher 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 zapper another uh, tar pit and then you want this here. You want this side. You want you always want at least one of these at the end of all your trap tunnels because sometimes uh, what people don't know is that a husky husk he will walk on the edge of your of your tile just like this, and he will avoid the puncher and your tar pit completely. So if this was edited like this, you may think that would help you, but it actually doesn't. And because the smasher, if he doesn't get pushed by this one. He's 100% going to get pushed by this one because he's going to get stuck in the tar pit right here. And then he's going to get pushed off no matter what. So you don't have to worry about the smasher. They actually usually get pushed off here. But uh, once they get immune after I think it's th four cycles of him getting pushed off, then they're immune. Uh, the smasher is the only thing you ever have to worry about on this side. Um, but this keeps the husky husk from avoiding the punch. So the husky husk is just there. He will stay on this side. Because he will always notice that this is there, and he will always want to track more diagonally. So this will, so these, these uh, ones that are on the left side of the tunnel keep him on the outside, and the one that's on the right side keeps him from doing, from skipping your traps. So it's all about balance here. 
and then this is this is just this is actually part of the south side as well because I'm going to show you how the south side's built in a minute here. But uh, all of this is for the west side or no the east side. But once they get knocked down here, this is very important. They start tracking all the way out here, and this is where this is a very important part right here. You want your walls. I have this floor here and a, uh, a piece right here that's edited just like so. This helps with their tracking, so they uh, if this wasn't there, they would just always they would just target these walls and beat through them. But because that's there, they walk this way and go up that ramp. So all of this barricade just funnels them back into this track. The cycle just repeats over and over and over again. And on the back side of this, I have three uh, roof pieces edited with the northeast corner raised, and then to the right of this one is just two more. One that's normal, like a ramp, and then another one with the northeast corner raised. And there are no traps or heel traps on the backs of these, this is just walls. And uh, this is the east side, and uh, we will go ahead and get on with the uh, uh, the south side here soon. Let me just be sure I I, I covered the lobber shield here. So the lobber shield, uh, this is where your base goes, of course. This goes up four and over three. This one here comes up two and up three. And then everything else should just go up two from here on out. And I'm going to show you uh, the layout for this, but uh, on this side, there's just a bunch of barricades all through the cave. There's nothing but barricade, if you can see that. Um, here, I'll show you. See, it's just all barricade. I don't know why there's a door there. It's kind of weird. Um, it's just all barricade. That's all this is. There's nothing in here. Uh, and that should be raised up like that. The barricade comes out one tile from the cave itself. And then this is where your trap tunnel is going to be for the south. And I'm going to go ahead and start showing you the south side uh, right now. So the south side is going to start on next to the little entrance where you would normally think you have a trap tunnel. But it's actually just more barricades. So where you would normally want them to track, you're actually trying to keep them from going that way. I know it's kind of a backwards build, but... Uh, starting here from this edge, this edge right here, you have a, uh, a this is only for flingers. Flingers are the only thing that track up here. So I'll also, by the way, make sure you have this rock, and this keeps flingers from going out that side and flinging from up there. So these these right here are very crucial part, uh, very crucial pieces for the south side. But right here I have two tiles going up on the left side of the ramp. Under here I have a zapper. This is a this is a barricade with a triangle piece edited toward the southwest. Uh, dart for once they get up here. Darts work at least three tiles away as far as I'm concerned. Uh, tire dump, dance trap, to stun the flingers, kill trap, and then everything here just kind of keeps them at bay until they're dead. And you never have to worry about them breaking this wall because they have so much barricade in there they usually just stand here and just take the gas to the to the head. It's kind of funny to watch actually. Uh, under here, so from this tile over, it goes over one, back two, over two, and then on this side you make sure going up the ramp here that you have a tile there that's blocked off so then most of them are just going to walk right up here. And you might think that you want stun traps here, but you actually want as few stun traps as possible. The whole policy of a twine endurance now is to have a balance between kill and stun. So the whole policy is to have a balance between kill and stun traps. And uh, I used to have like uh, dance traps here, but they're not necessary because they don't actually target these walls because of the amounts of barricade that you have. So the lobber shield starts right there at the front of that track. There's up to, it should just stay it just should just stay out to the entire time. I don't think I, I used to have it higher but it was just unnecessary. I did put two ceiling tiles there just to, you know, make sure that flingers don't want to go up here and start breaking these walls. 
because then they would see this as a place that they could fling from. And they, uh, they would actually rather break your balls and fling from here than they would just go through the trap tunnel. Because flingers, they would rather, they would, they would actually, a flinger will track around uh, an entire other amplifier just so they can get a place to fling. So uh, they would do anything they can to fling. Starting here, the uh, lobber shield comes out the one, and then I have ceilings. There should just be two ceilings, and then that starts out from there. Just goes out two the entire time. Looks pretty clean using brick. You can use metal. Feel free to use anything you want, actually. Um, I just would never use wood. Uh, but I, I kind of like the look of the brick better. It just looks nice. Uh, double durability, double impact, double reload on all of these punchers. Um, these here are just to keep them from are just to keep them from tracking near the walls because sometimes uh, if they're right next to the puncher they don't get affected by it so this just kind of keeps them centered so they always get punched and this those two punchers are just to prevent uh, clogging of a trap tunnel because if too many are coming through here uh, it's going to be really rough on these traps right here and they might get through so you want at least two punchers and then right here you do not want a puncher you do not want a puncher there so whenever they walk up here uh, if you had a puncher here, it would just keep recycling them, and then once they finally are, are immune, then they're just walking through. Then they're just walking through everything, and then all of this is useless. So the whole point is, you want them to get in here. This is just to prevent any propane from blowing up right here. So then the husky husk are usually the only things that make it to this tar pit. They'll just stand here, and then they get punched off, and then you can feel free to kill them if you want through this little this little hole right here. This wall will keep you safe from just about everything, but you can kill anything you want. And I sometimes do have a flinger right here. He'll fling, but he can't actually fling through this. Uh, he cannot actually fling through that little hole. You can fall through there, but he cannot actually fling through there. So on the south side, they actually do have to... Uh, this is actually kind of good that I fell down here because I can show you this now. So on the south side, whenever they fall off of that, the little ledge they have to track all the way back up here and this is where the real fun begins because then they get to go through the east trap tunnel which is even more de devastating than the south side so then they're going through this side and then the cycle starts repeating from here so the south side is not just this trap tunnel but it's also this trap tunnel so this trap tunnel is actually serving two sides instead of just one and that's what's really cool about this build because it's really easy on this trap on these few traps here because these these trap tunnels are actually going to uh, be doing most of the work for uh, the beach amplifier and the barricades I will show you how many barricades I have I have I don't have anything on this corner piece right here so right here there is no corner piece, there is nothing. Then I have a corner piece here with two extra walls. I have a ramp, another ramp, back through here is just a bunch more. And then out here, starting from the cave, I go out one, there's a wall there, then there's nothing under here, nothing under here. Just these two fort uh, ceiling tiles. You can put bases here if you want to actually. Uh, if you ever have two commanders and one storm shield, uh, their base can go on top of one of those just so they can supercharge the kill traps for the uh, flingers. But to the right of the flinger trap tunnel, so to the east of it, you're going to have a 2x2 uh, two two barricade system. And then nothing under here, under, underneath the brick, there's nothing. And then another barricade, more walls, and then back here. Of course, you have all your barricades through the, through the cave itself. And then on this side, I think uh, these two under here are raised. One towards a corner, and then the other is just raised, yeah, towards the corner. And then behind the mini boss dance trap, I actually have three more walls. And that is, these three walls are actually bonus. Uh, for this side because the husk that spawn over there The assassin husk would like to track this way But since these this barricade the mini must dance trap and then these three extra walls are back there They don't want to track over here at all anymore. So that kind of fixes that issue and That is the beach amplifier the next one we will be sh I will be showing you is uh, the valley amplifier 
Okay, the valley amplifier. This is probably the most important amplifier of the entire endurance. And it is the most delicate one as well. Uh, that ramp up there, whenever this amplifier gets attacked, you better be at the top, you better be right up there as soon as this is getting attacked because if you're down here you can cause a lot of problems with the smashers and the propane so uh, those who don't know Kirby's build uh, this little radio tower looking thing actually changes the smashers and the propane from building breaker to assassin so they will no longer be wanting to go towards the amplifier they will be looking for you but since you're up there they don't know what to do so they all just stand still right down there on top of that tile and sometimes around it but this build goes to shows these walls are on the sides you're gonna have a little you're gonna have two arcs going up from one tile off the ground then it goes two tiles up and then underneath I have a I have a four tile here with a anti-air trap and then on the top I have another one and this prevents flingers from spawning and if one does spawn they don't actually do damage to it because this one but uh, if they do spawn on this amplifier, just make sure you have something to kill them with because they do cause a lot of problems. So back here, right behind the amplifier, and here you're going. This is so this is the computer that they are trying to track to. Under here, you have the little box. Make sure you have heal traps on all three sides, especially this side. This is the side all of them are going to be attacking it from. Uh, under here, you want to want to edit your edit the. Wall, the wall pieces the way this is on all the corners and then on this side you want a full wall I just have a bunch of uh, dance traps and stun traps here just to keep them at bay there should be four four tiles your base is going to go right here and then this should go three tiles up and you can actually use the uh, you can actually use the roof pieces here that might actually work better but I haven't had any issues with the with the ramps but then around on this side you want a bunch of ceilings and you want anti-air traps just aligning this thing everywhere, even on the floor here. So you, underneath the corner tiles you want a wooden floor spike, wooden floor spike, and then I just have a bunch of zappers to kill all the little ones. So these these traps are very crucial. This is a double, double impact, double reload, double durability. These are max impact. Five impacts, one durability and uh, there's three of them these max impacts actually hit them all the way up there and they get launched off this way now you may think oh you're just shooting them off into the lava well no the whole point of this trap tunnel it's not really a trap tunnel it's more of a, uh, a geyser filtration system so these stun traps here are just to kind of knock their health down this punchers to keep them off that wall and some of them will beat on these walls but there's almost nothing you can do about that they're going to do that no matter what <clears throat> Sorry, I'm kind of congested right now. Allergies are killing me. Uh, this side, you want a a ramp piece right right next to the geyser. So right here's where the geyser is. This is what happens the whole time. The husk will just continue to try to go up this ramp. You're gonna make a makeshift ramp going right here. So you're gonna have a little box right here next to the geyser. You're gonna have a wall piece edited like so, and then you're gonna want a spiral stair going like this and then you're going to want to box it in and then I have a door right here just so I can get up and down if I'm ever down here near uh, the lava amplifier I can always come over here and go through this door and jump up here but if you ever want to dodge the geyser you kind of have to jump on that or do a strafe jump so if I'm running this way I have to do a strafe jump kind of like that kind of get past the geyser but down here you want all of these tiles to be goes one two back and then it goes three four over and then four over so this is a four by two and then it's just kind of like an L shape right here like a reverse L shape and then two walls a back wall you can uh, I wouldn't put any traps I wouldn't put any more kill traps down here than this because the whole point is to try to keep them occupied down here because you're trying not to make them respawn up top you want as few husk up top as possible but you also want them to be slowly dying because if they're not dying then they're all going to despawn anyway. So as long as you have traps working against them, they are not going to despawn. So that's what that's the whole point of this one. So once these are no longer effective against the husks that are down here, this will be uh, keeping them from despawning. 
and you don't want them falling in the lava because if they do that then they're going to be respawning up there which increases your chances of a flinger and then all of these walls are just kind of walled in four walls right there this is empty because they can't actually walk into the lava and then uh, you want two walls going up this catches everything and then of course the ramp and the roof piece and then you want your you want your ramp starting from here going up one two three four ramps on the fifth on the fifth one up you want a four piece then you want this one to come over one two three four and then it kind of wraps around here now this puncher is to keep anything th this puncher actually is for amplifier h this they will never they will never make it up this ramp for amp for amplifier for the valley amplifier they will never make it up this ramp uh, but the ones that attack uh, the lava pit they sometimes like to track up here sometimes you'll have a blaster or a witch or something and uh, this one this uh, floor launcher and this ball launcher uh, will push them down into there so then they they can't actually do any damage to the amplifier uh, but that's for different so the most important part of this of the valley are all of these um, these are targets actually maybe wondering what the heck what the heck are these things well these are actually targets for the UFO wave so you don't have to actually shoot down the UFO so my targets begin right near right here on the corner piece of this amplifier my targets begin here you go one tile away because the UFO destroys in a three by three area so one target is all it's going to destroy at a time and you want at least 20 targets I have like 26 I think because I don't want the I don't even want the UFO ever attacking the amplifier because it sometimes will if you don't have enough targets but you want at least you need a minimum of 20 targets and honestly I would say a minimum of 22 targets just because uh, y it, it decreases the chance of it you know going for your amplifier and if your amplifier gets destroyed and it's wide open then uh, you're, you're gonna lose because there's nothing you can do to stop the level 400 husk from getting in there there's trust me there's nothing you can do if you're running this solo if you have a team that might be easier but uh, if you're ever running this solo like I do quite often then uh, it's not gonna be very fun but it goes four targets here over here there's a fifth target you go diagonally one and then up one and then another one over I only have three walls as a barricade here you might have some people that want more but there's no need for it uh, actually the barricade actually kind of acts as a target itself it's kind of funny but uh, then right next to this one it goes three targets going forward and then another target to its left right here another target here another target here right here you have two targets on this little ledge right here and then I have three sound walls out here. This is to help the propane just drop their propane. So whenever they're walking up, they don't just go blow up the amplifier. And uh, these act actually act, act as targets as well. So it's kind of like added bonus. It's kind of like kind of like doing two jobs for you right there. But starting from this side, you go one tile back. You go one over. You're going to go... Th this is kind of like in an L shape always. I do all of these in an L shape because it actually allows you to have more targets than if you did it as if like... I could do one here, one here, one here, one here, but then that only allows for six targets. That would actually only allow for, actually, five targets. That would only allow for five targets here, whereas here I have one, two, three, four, five, six, seven targets. Or if I had them in the other pattern, I would only have like five or six. So this pattern that I have them in allows you to have more targets. And I'm going to give you an aerial view from above. This barricade here is actually really crucial as well for the uh, lava pit amplifier, but I will show you why that is once I uh, go to show you this side. But, uh, this amplifier this is the lava shield for the lava pit amplifier, but I start my little staircase right here. I'm going to show you how to build this one uh, here soon. But this comes up. Let's see how many goes up. One, two, three, four, five, six, seven tiles off of the top of that trap of that trap tunnel and then it goes over four tiles your banner is going to go right here or right here it doesn't really matter but you'll always have this huge tornado right here and kind of blocks your view of everything but uh, i stand right here i usually get out my pot shot 
and I'll let it, uh, and I'll look out for flingers and stuff that spawn down there, and then if any flinger does, like, you have to really aim, you have to aim pretty high up, especially if he's, like, right there flinging, you have to aim, like, up here to actually hit the flinger that's standing right there. It's kind of, kind of weird, but the, the bullet drop on the pot shot is, uh, it's pretty bad. But, uh, here's an aerial view of all of the targets. I haven't had any issues with the UFO wave yet. I did my first try, of course, but uh, uh, that was all experimental. This, this, this works. Everything that you see in this video will work. And uh, this, this will. Uh, that's all you need for amplifier for the valley amplifier. Pretty simple. It's actually one of the most uh, simple builds out here. Okay. Okay. Now we are getting to the big daddy amps. This one is probably the most bulky build worth of uh, barricade you will ever see in your life because there's just so many barricades that are required for it. So for, I'm gonna start off with the mini boss dance trap. Your mini boss dance trap needs to be built as a double box system. This is where they're gonna be dancing right here. Goes three walls, three walls, no ceiling here because they actually have to drop down right here off this ramp. And then uh, you want a ceiling tile here. You want a, a cone right here. You want two walls, another cone. And then on the back of this, you actually don't want a cone. And you, you could put one. It might make it work better. But I think I had an issue with the last time I put a cone there. So I broke it and then it started working again. It, it, it's kind of it's touchy. Very touchy. But then starting here, you just have more barricades on the ground going up to this. I don't have any walls here because there's just no need for it. And then you have another barricade, another barricade, more barricades, more barricades, more barricades, more barricades, more barricades. And then another barricade. Actually, I could probably get rid of this one, but I'm not going to. Um, then you want a roof piece here, half tile here, roof piece, floor piece, and then on top of this you want a roof piece. And you don't want any traps in any of these. And make sure that uh, you do never put your base on top of this because it will mess up the uh, mini boss whenever he starts dancing. Because the mini bosses, you're not supposed to touch them and they're supposed to dance. But you can always shoot them off in the blob if they do start acting up. And uh, sometimes you're lucky and they go through they go through the uh, they go through the diamond. I'll show you how that one works. This is probably the most the most fun trap tunnel you will ever see in your life whenever. Uh, you watch the video of how it works so starting here from the to the right of the amplifier it goes one tile two tiles worth of barricades you just want four four barricades under this ramp let's see if make sure it doesn't break here actually i think that is gonna break no it's not okay under here you want uh another barricade aimed that way and you want this to stay just like that um, this uh, this tile right here actually is a trap tunnel for the hill amplifier, and I'm going to show you how that one works next. But uh, these barricades, you want walls, and you want a wall here, and then a floor here. Actually, that's not upgraded. Wow, that's crazy. Um, you want a uh, four piece there underneath that ramp, or above the ramp actually. So under here you have the four piece. Oops. So uh, you may be wondering, what the heck is this? Well, I'm going to show you. All of the husk are going to track down here into this cave. There, you're going to have very few husk that track over here. So you want the build to go as so. All of the husk spawn here. You want one tile to be free of barricades. You want three tiles over. Under here, you want four four pieces with gas traps underneath. You want a wall here, a wall here, a wall here, and then you want to go three across, and then you want to go one across here. And this is to keep them from beating on this wall, this floor spike. You, you do not want a puncher here. That's too many punchers. And then starting here, one tile from the ramp. You start here with a half tile. To the left of that one, you want a tile with this corner piece edited. You want a half ramp on top of this corner piece. It goes up to a full tile with a kill trap, 
You want a little barricade here to keep them on the right side. Another kill trap. You want a puncher, puncher, puncher. <clears throat> and you don't want any stun traps on these because this is where all the propane and the mini bosses are going to be tracking. So the so the mini bosses, the uh, propane, you'll have a couple witches, maybe a nurse or two, and the blasters. The blasters will all be coming up here. Your labber shield should start right here at this wall. Only has to go out two. They cannot fling past that. This one can only come out one, and then it comes out one here, and then four tiles. And the reason this comes out further is because you don't want a flinger right here flinging from here. So if you have this built like so, you don't have to worry about flingers. So it should go from this piece right here. Should start it. Up, should start it. So these are next. And then right here it goes two out, two by two. And then it goes two out this way, and then this is where your ramp starts. Uh, so you can, so th that's for this uh, amplifier. This uh, little ramp right here. And that's where you're going to be standing up there. But uh, I would say for the lava amplifier, uh, you're going to want to be standing either down there if you don't have propane up here. But if you do have propane, you're going to want to be, uh, you're going to want to be out here taming them and trying to get them to throw at you so the anti-air traps can take care of the propane for you and then they can walk back up into your trap tunnel and uh, not blow it all up. It's kind of nice actually. And then over here I have one, two, three, four tiles. Just behind that I only have a single ramp and then I have an extra wall here. And then some of the propane that you have right here will come up here and start beating on this but they can't actually get past that so then they have to go up here anyway or they will all just go back into the trap tunnel, which is where you want them going. But uh, the, the amount of barricades you need is, it's kind of ridiculous. Uh, this ramp right here is for the mini bosses alone. The only thing that's ever gonna get through here are the mini bosses. So it starts here right up, right next to the, at this tile on this little ledge right here. That's the end of the trap tunnel. And then it starts right here. So you want an angle piece, an angle piece, an angle piece. And then three angle pieces going down here. And the mini boss is going to jump right off of here and start dancing. So the barricades go as so. You want more barricades beneath and above. Starting right here on this ledge. So you're going to have two layers of barricades here. An extra layer right here with a cone in it. You probably, uh, I'm not sure if you can get rid of this one, but and I wouldn't. I would, I would just keep it there. There is not a floor underneath this, by the way. There is nothing underneath that. Um, let's see here. So starting at the ramp, you have two more barricades underneath the ramp, right here. And then at the ramp, you have two by three worth of barricades. And then above these barricades on that ledge, you have more barricades, and these actually do have pillars underneath of them. And then over here, you just want this is where your uh, this is where a lot of your barric this is your most important barricades probably because you're gonna have you can display, display bomb lands. There are no floors under here, and you have three punchers right here just to keep them off the walls. And then at the top of your ramp, you want these two facing toward the southeast, and then you want this one to facing directly toward the south. And then you want two extra walls on this side, and then you want just your normal angled barricades here going this way. And what this does, this prevents these guys from wanting to break these, and it prevents these guys from wanting to go up here and break this way. So it kind of works both ways. And then they actually do not track up here, and if they do, then you might have a barricade issue or you might have too many barricades. You might have too many or too little barricades. Or it could just be built wrong. So always make sure to go back and double check. Never feel afraid to uh, stuff. And then right here I have these two extra walls. One tile back from the entrance of the tunnel. And then your library shield starts right here. One tile back from the tunnel. And then it just goes up two and all the way across. And these are actually part of the barricade, so these are not part of the lava shield. So showing you guys that. And then these are angled toward that way, and then this one's angled straight up. This is where your base is going to go. 
underneath of this there's an extra barricade behind this this is where the puncher is so on the on this side of the wall that's where the puncher is so underneath here that's the puncher so your so your base is going to go right behind or I'm sorry to the tile next to the puncher that's where your base goes and that covers the whole trap tunnel here it snares everything in the trap tunnel got a barricade right next to it and then you have two barricades next to your tunnel so they don't break through the walls because if those aren't in there then they do break through the walls and these are on top of the ledge right there all right and then the the geyser how you how to build the geyser I'm gonna go show you that really fast and then we'll move on to the hill amplifier a lot of you may recognize a lot of these builds from uh, Kirby most of this is based off Kirby because my storm shield used to be built like his but I've had to make quite a few changes since the patch so right here you want two walls going up right at the exit of this so right here you want two walls you want two sound walls this is a half tile you want a wall edited like so you want two four pieces to move the bottom that way so you're so in order to move the bomb you want these two four pieces right next to the tunnel so right coming from the left side of this tunnel right here you want it to come out one two three tiles and then one over and this is where the geyser is so right here underneath here is the geyser and then this just shoots them all out into the lava and I'll show you how that works just like that all they do is despawn and then right here you want a, a full a full uh, half wall you want a little entrance here with the wall editor like so and right here you want a full wall with a puncher on it double impact double reload double durability and this uh, this works with everything and if a mini boss tracks through here he, even he gets launched out into the lava and you will actually see that when I uh, go to test these trap tunnels for you and show you how well they work because these work so well and I'm very satisfied with how these builds came out um, all right, the next amplifier we will be going to will be the hill amp. Make sure you guys check out part two. The link will be in the description.